and good morning guys welcome to my first video of the evolve artist studio vlog series today is december 26 and it is the day after christmas so i am starting the program today i want to get a little bit of a head start so i started watching the videos for the first block and the first assignment and just to give you an idea of a time frame it took me about an hour and a half for watching all the videos and reading all the text if you watched my unboxing video that i previously posted it said that if you spend about an hour a day you will finish the program in less than a year but it took over an hour just to watch videos and I don't know if later on the videos will get shorter as you are learning more and gaining the experience and there's less explaining to do and just that there's a lot in the beginning to explain. So we'll see. Here I want to show you the Evolve dashboard when you sign in. So I watched all of the Evolve block one part one so all the videos and it's 100% but as you can see you cannot even start or look at part two until they unlock it for you so the course does hold you accountable for submitting your work and doing 100% of watching the videos which I really like so I have a whole art studio room tour video coming up soon but I just wanted to show in this first vlog of the Evolve Artist program of how I just have my Evolve Artist set up and what I did is I have my art cart and I purchased the topper for it and I thought this would be perfect for my palette when I'm painting and underneath the topper is where I keep all my Evolve art supplies. So I'll keep everything in the one place so nothing gets lost. And so I'm just getting set up for the first assignment. And then over here, I have my assignment already traced out on this masonite board. I already had it with watercolor. As you can see, it's stained from doing my watercolor paintings. But I thought this would work perfect along with this table top easel. Again, I already had this. These are pretty cheap, maybe like 20 bucks or something at Michael's. So I already have it. I don't know how this setup is going to work. Um, I'm going to test it out and then if I need to do changes, I will. But I thought it would just be nice to show in the first video. And then above that, my pegboard isn't quite finished yet, but I did put the paper towels here to use. Um, while I'm painting and to have nearby for cleanup. Now this is perfect because I can treat this as like a second desk back here and also having the palette and all the Evolve art supplies in the cart means that I can roll my cart wherever I want to work. So if I didn't want to work back here I could move up to my L desk up here and just put the cart right up next to it, like right here, and I could work here, or if I want to go somewhere else in the house, I could do that as well. All right, let's just get into this first assignment. So here I am starting with the basic squares, and I'm only going to paint the first row here, so this clip isn't gonna be that long, but I started with the extreme shadow, and when I move on to the moderate shadow, you'll see that I put my hand into the wet paint. Even though it's just such a small area on the canvas, I just was not even thinking and not used to using oil paint. So my hand went right in it and I wiped off as much as I could, but I continued on and it smudged a little bit over the canvas. I was also very nervous because I'm very new to oils. Like I said in previous videos, I'm mostly used to working with watercolor. So even though this may seem like a very simple task of filling a square, it was not, um, it was easy to fill the square, but it was not easy to get very clean edges and very tight corners. I'm not used to the medium, so it's definitely going to take me a lot of getting used to, but I find it a very therapeutic thing to do is to just fill squares. I like that they start very simple like that, and I will continue these squares off camera, and I will come back to you when they are all finished.
Okay, here is my first assignment done. Maybe it took me 45 minutes-ish. Maybe an hour. I tried to be pretty careful and try to get clean edges, but it was pretty hard getting the straight edges and the tight corners. I don't think I got any tight corners. It was hard. And then of course, like I said, my canvas is messy because my hand. So actually I should turn it this way. So this was my first square. And this was my last square. So slight improvement, I think. I did it dark to light each row. Dark to light, dark to light. I think that's how they said you should do it instead of doing all the darks at once, then all the lights. So that way you can get a feel for transitioning between colors. So now I'm just going to take a picture and submit my homework. I'm going to see how long it takes for them to critique it and give me feedback and then that should unlock assignment number two. And here is my palette after doing the first assignment. There is still quite a lot of paint on there. So depending on how long it takes them to get back to me, I might be able to start assignment two and just use this paint. Oh, I also forgot to show you that I made this whole like Notion database <laughs> to track my notes and assignments. So we did block one assignment one, it's complete. So it fills out the progress bar 100%. I submitted it today and I'm going to upload the picture that I just used to submit my homework. So now I have my picture of my homework and I can blow it up, but it shrinks it down so it fits inside my database. And the time spent, I don't know, I wanna say I spent like 45 minutes doing that. I did just some quick notes about the videos, which I could change this to time spent watching videos just to get an idea of how much time I'm putting into the program. And then over here, I just added this quote section. Sometimes Kevin just has these like really great quotes and sayings and some that I felt like I really wanted to write down and remember. The start of a nice collection. My first painting put on the wall. So it's the morning of the 27th and I'm ready to start my assignment two. Uh, just an update last night that I checked my email and they actually critiqued my work at 6.30. So that was just over three hours maybe that it took them to get back, which was really quick. So I watched all the video lessons last night and prepped my painting. So now I'm just getting ready to paint. I'm gonna try to use the same paint from yesterday. Hopefully it's still good. I don't know how long oil paint lasts, but there was a lot of paint yesterday left over. So I wanted to use it and not be wasteful. And today we will be working on gradients. And I imagine this one's going to take me a lot longer. Get this homework submitted this morning, so that way, while they're critiquing it, um, I can do some other video editing and recording and then start my second assignment later this afternoon or tonight. So the first thing I have to do is make middle shades between these two by mixing them down here, these two down here, and these two down here in order to do my gradients. So here I am working on assignment number two, which is gradients. And again, for this assignment, I just recorded the first row. So this clip isn't going to be that long either. These were very difficult. Um, I'm currently, as of recording this voiceover on assignment like six or seven, and I'm still like trying to perfect these 
gradients. It seems like such a simple concept, but it is very hard to master and make them look so incredibly smooth like Kevin does. My first one is absolutely terrible, um, but I guess instead of just sitting there and working on it over and over and over instead of moving on, I can see by doing what I could and then continuing that I can go back and look at the progress I've made since doing that first gradient, which I can say I have improved for sure since that very top gradient in the top left corner. And we have two assignments of these. So once I finish these, I will pop back on and show you near the end of assignment two, which is just more of the same exact gradients. They definitely get you in a lot of practice with these and it is very much needed for sure. Okay, I'm finally finished. And no lie, this took me about three hours. I was trying to be really meticulous, but I still feel like they're not that great. Um, this row is a lot better because the shades were a lot closer together to start with, whereas these ones were pretty extreme, so it was a lot harder to blend. So this was my first one, and I went across, and then the second row, and then I did these last two at the same time. And I do see an improvement from the bottom row to the top, but... Man, this was hard, but I think I've gotten better with my squares, my clean edges. I'm improving there, so time to submit my homework. So here we are with assignment three, and like I said, it is the exact same thing as assignment two. You're just doing a whole nother sheet of gradients. So after getting my assignment number two graded and critiqued by the teachers, they gave some positive and valuable feedback and suggested that maybe my buffers or the middle paint lines that I was laying down were too thin. So they suggested I use the largest brush in the set that we were given and do my lines with those. So I think that very much helped me it going into assignment three. And I've also changed up the angle with the camera. During these first couple assignments while I was recording, I was trying to figure out the best angle for the camera because again, I'm not used to oil painting, which is a more vertical painting style compared to watercolors, which lays flat on the surface. With watercolors, I can easily do a top down recording style but with this oil painting on the easel, I was kind of like moving the camera around behind me and next to me and I was tilting my canvas towards the camera, making it kind of difficult to paint, but I'm trying to get a good angle with the camera and I can tell by doing this on the right side, it kind of focuses on my hand, which isn't great, but I have learned of a better position for the camera, which is to the back right and above my shoulder looking down and zoomed in on the canvas. So if these shots aren't great, I apologize, but my next Evolve Artist vlog should probably have better angles when we start getting into the paintings. So these are the last of the gradients for the exercises and after these gradients we move into some actual paintings so those will all be included in my next vlog so this is just a recap of the first couple assignments with evolve in my experience and so far i'm really enjoying it and just really looking forward to making some paintings all right here's assignment three all complete this probably took me about three hours. I think my gradients are better than assignment two, but definitely still need work. Ah, it's way more harder than it seems. And I feel like I could fiddle with these forever. But I wanna get this submitted tonight 
and start some actual paintings and not exercises, which will be exciting. And here we have assignment three all completed. And if you look compared right to assignment two, I feel like you can already see a difference. Obviously they still need improvement, but I think I'm getting better.